Clinic Fitness, and today we are trying our hand at some holiday baking. We are going to be attempting to make a healthy holiday treat, and that treat is gingerbread holiday energy bites. All right, so the recipe is up on my blog. You can check it out at clodefitness.com. But for right now, I'm gonna let voiceover Roxy take it away and uh, hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it is voiceover Roxy here and we are starting with some dates. Now you're gonna want about 10 of those and you're gonna wanna pick them like on The Bachelor. Only choose the best dates. And just like on The Bachelor, we are going to put all the dates in some hot water. And we're gonna let them sit there for about five minutes. Real Life Roxy is picking her dates very aggressively and making sure that they actually don't have pits in them. You're gonna let that sit to the side for just about five minutes there. After that, you're going to take your Ninja Blade Blender or a food processor. I take my Ninja because I am very excited about it. I love this appliance and I refuse to buy a food processor because of it. We're gonna get started here with a quarter cup of flax seeds. Just throw that right in there. Then we're going to take a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds. Apparently there is a difference between raw and other pumpkin seeds. After that we got half a cup of almonds, half a cup of walnuts, which are my personal favorite. Then we're going to go for a teaspoon of fresh ginger. Now I had to Google how to cut ginger for the first time. It is very time consuming and it was not fun because it all comes out as a mush, but we did it. So reward yourself and be super bougie. Put that in some boiling water, pretend to drink it all fancy. Oh, we all so fancy. Cheers to you. Yes, cheers to you, Roxy. Good job. Give yourself a little pat on the back. And then you realize the water is super hot and you burnt your lip. It happens 2020. We are going to put in a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to measure like ish. A quarter teaspoon of allspice, which we don't even know what allspice is, so we bought a new one and we're just aggressively shaking it over the ninja. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Always tastes good in a recipe. We're going to put that in ish. A pinch of cloves, which I wonder why we even put in something if it's only a pinch. And then one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses, which apparently is different from other molasses. And I went on a full Google rampage trying to figure out what the difference between them was. I still don't know. Then we're gonna take our dates, put it in the blender and just crush them up, just like our real dates. Keep that water because apparently it's important to put in later if you need to change your mixture up a little bit. This is what it's gonna look like coming out of the blender. I did add a couple of tablespoons of just that date water. Don't know if it made that much of a difference, but the consistency is just good. Yeah, I'm doing good, Roxy, thank you. Now you're gonna put that in the fridge and you are gonna let that chillax for about two hours. In the meantime, just contemplate your life choices outside the window. Yeah, 2020, it's been a tough year, but you know what, we're fancy. We're drinking our ginger lemon water and it's all good. A couple of hours later, we've got our mixture here and we've got a super cute little plate. We're gonna roll that into about an inch ball with disgusting hands from the mixture. And we are going to just put some uh, chia seeds on top as a little bit of a garnish. And that is it for me, folks. I hope you have a wonderful, glorious day. And voiceover Roxy out, thanks for having me. So there you have it guys. We have got some delicious gingerbread energy bites. These are great for any time of the year, but they are especially great for the holidays. So here's to you and your family, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Happy Holiday, whatever you're celebrating. And uh, I hope you enjoy these gingerbread energy bites. I know that I will. 